Okay, I'm going to update what I was talking about a little bit about scanning your own artwork. So, um, what I've done is I've taken a, an Epson scanner. This is the Epson 750. And the lid for it's over here. I don't use the lid when I'm doing a scan. I, when I do put my artwork on top, I will, like I was saying earlier, I will, I will use a uh, directional bar just to keep it where I want it to be. Take my canvas and move it over the scanner. You know, clean the table, dust everything off, take the scanner. Uh, I mark it where the scan, I've marked on the scanner just where it really actually scans and uh, it scans to about here but actually scans to here so I marked where I'd have a, 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 a area that's for sure I'm getting the scan. And then I'll mark it here on the artwork too. So as I'm moving it up like this, like right, right here, there's a, there's a little lip right here that keeps the first scan in the right place. But as I move it up, I mark it, I go it all the way up to the next line. You'll figure this out on your own. Uh, that's pretty much the kind of thing you have to just do it and, and just trial and error. But I'll have marked this painting right back here, bring it up to the next line, do another scan, mark it down here, um, bring it from this line that I mark here, bring it up to this line right here, all the time making sure it's, it's parallel, and do another scan. And then when I move over, because the scanner only comes to here, when I move over to do this side, I'll start at the top again, bring it to the line that I've marked with like a white marker, a mark down here so I know where the scan is going to start for the second one. So I'll do the first scan again. So I'm doing one side of this painting, then another side. Even on large paintings, I'll do the same thing until I'm done. Bring it up from that mark to right here again and here, mark it down here, scan this one, and then continue as, as such all the way through each of my paintings. So, just with a regular Epson flatbed scanner, this one has uh, about 4,800 to 9,600, or by 9,600, 48, I'll read it down here, I wrote it down, yeah, 4,800 by 9,600 uh, native resolution, it's got 6,400 DPI resolution, and it scans an 8.5 by 11.5 uh, piece of art. But once I'm, say for instance, once I'm laying my art down, uh, and I'll take this and scan this part right here, when I move it to the next one down, I'm going to overlap, about a third. I'm going to overlap, so I'm double um, scanning. And the reason for that is, is that I use Photoshop CS6. And in Photoshop CS6, it has a, um, I'll look it up in a minute, but it's a, a it's where you, you, you actually will bring your scans together and you'll, you'll put them together a stitching. It's a stitching program in CS6. And it needs to have some information on the previous scan, just like when you're doing uh, those. Uh, CS6 is set up for like putting your camera on a tripod and shooting uh, a landscape so that you can stitch all that landscape together. It's not set up for a scanner, so you have to trick it. So, um, well, at least you have to follow real careful principles of laying your, your artwork down on the scanner so that it, it's received into Photoshop CS6. Uh, and what happens is that when you, you scan one piece here and another piece here and another piece here, going up a third each time, what happens is that your, your artwork has information in it that the CS6 will actually find these little spots of recognition and then recognize it into the next scan so it'll tie it together. It doesn't always work. So sometimes I'll, I'll scan two or three here, put it together real easy, and scan two or three here, scan two or three here, and then find out that when I'm putting them together, I have to do it manually. Because sometimes it just doesn't bring it together. But what I found that if, the reason it doesn't do it is I didn't leave enough information for it to read. So now I'm getting to a place with it to where I can almost do the whole thing, or I have quite a few times now, do the whole scan, leaving the one-third 
to rescan on the next scan, and then uh, what happens is is that uh, the Photoshop CS6 program puts it all together. Just click a button and it puts it all together. So you have to go to um, other software other than CS6 if you don't have CS6. But uh, price of that scanner is about 850. Price of Photoshop CS6 is about 900. Uh, it takes really a good good Mac, uh, but I don't work with a, a PC, but I'm just telling you what I do. I'm just trying to show you what I do to make things happen. I'm also using the Epson 9900. This is the Epson 9900. It's 44 inches. And from that, I can pretty much do all the artwork I do. My largest pieces are about 48 inches. So maybe 36 by 48. So I'd run it vertical, the 48, on the printer to do that 36 by 48. So I don't usually do anything bigger than that. So with a, a printer, a computer, and the good software included in CS6 and the scanner, I've been able to bypass pretty much... I've been able to bypass everything that uh, I used to spend, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars uh, scanning each one of my pieces. Every time I finish a couple of pieces, I just scan this triptych back here. I'm about ready to scan these two pieces. And I save a lot of money doing it myself. A lot of people would much rather go to a company that does that for them. So I'm not, all I'm doing is, you know, finding my own way to do it, having co complete control of it. If you want someone else to do it, the company that I use was in Manhattan Beach. It's called ArtScan. Great company, ArtScan. And uh, also um, Duguayne Atelier in, in Southern California. I use them too. And I forget what it was that I'm using. One is for uh, scanning, one's for printing. And, uh, but anyway, it's, it's ArtScan Manhattan Beach and Duguayne RTA. RTA is spelled like a French word. I'm not really sure how to spell it. So you can have them do your work for you. It's great. But with me, the amount of work I do, you know, sometimes uh, two paintings in a month, sometimes three or four if they're smaller ones. So the amount of work I do, it just doesn't pay me to spend that amount of money to scan. It would, if, of course, if I couldn't do it myself. But taking the time to build a flatbed table here Flatbed table was real important to make the scans available. Printing my own work, editing it, the scans on the computer for both uh, stitching the scans together and for printing. It made sense for me to do it all by myself. So it doesn't take a genius. I'm not really that computer savvy. It's just it's one subject that I stay with and you can learn. So I'm just uh, putting this little um, video together with social cam just to just to show you that you can do it you can make things happen that's but once you start studying all this what you're gonna find out I'm going out here in my or the pool room I bring my work out here too to um, actually put my prints together and and uh, other things that do have a little wood shop under the house And yes, I've lost track of what I was saying a second ago. But uh, I think what I was saying is what, what I do here is all possible for someone that really you know, wants to play with uh, their own scans. You can do it, and it's fun for me. You will have to learn um, Photoshop. You will have to play with your printer about a month. This is what I'd forgotten to say uh, as I walked out. About a month it takes to learn the Epson uh, 9900, unless you're already into printing. It takes about a, a you know, a couple of days to learn the CS6. Uh, if you're into Photoshop already, to learn to stitch together, it takes a few days. And to use the scanner, a couple of days. But uh, with a month and a half of work or so, you can have your own little scanning room and uh, bypass having someone else do it for you or bypass doing it all with photography. Photography is great, but it just doesn't produce the results that a scan produces. I wish I could show you a, a you know, a gicle print. They should be all over the place, but they're not. The kids have been taking them all down to the gallery. But uh, you cannot tell my scans f or uh, art scan or art, um, in Manhattan Beach. You cannot tell the scans 
and the artwork once they're edited properly from the original. They're just exact. They're right on the money. In fact, I like to come in and change it a little bit. So I've painted it, but I like to color correct, maybe change a little to make it even better after I've scanned it. So and with photography, you do lose. You lose your information. But with a scan, you get more information than your eye sees. So you can bring it down to what's comfortable for you. So scanning is the way to work with artwork. And sorry, photographers, I'm, I'm not a lot of artists are going to really do this for themselves. But I just wanted to present it and, and show you that it is possible if you're interested. Okay, well, I'll just upload this right now.